Hey guys, this is For Reason Gaming bringing you another video, and today we're going to be doing some more Sans Wrath episode 2, I believe. Uh, we just started the series yesterday, and as you can tell, so much has already changed. We used to have a house right here. I did a lot of off-camera work. It didn't actually take me that long. Uh, I just set up some boring stuff. I cleared out all the trees. I didn't think you guys would want to see that. Set up a little chicken farm up here that uh, isn't automatic, so... Not yet, at least, but we're just putting more chickens in every day, so it should be uh, pretty functional. I'm not, uh, this uh, actually isn't going to be where it is. It's probably going to be down there, uh, which we're probably going to get done today in today's episode, like clearing out the front area, I think. I'm pretty sure. But as you can see, I have a diamond pickaxe. Uh, how many more diamonds do I have? Let me go check. Two more diamonds, so n not... Not a lot at all. We already have a farm going, which isn't producing that much, because I don't know how to do melon farms. I think, I think we just do like that, I'm guessing, so they grow out there. I, I don't really know how to do them. I'm just winging it right now. So uh, what we're going to do first is I'm actually going to set up a nether transportation system. I got all the obsidian we need, uh, so we grab that. Uh, need some cobble, um, right? flint, yeah, I did, okay. Gonna make some flint steel real quick, cause we need something to light. If you don't know how to make a nether thing, oh, we grew, okay, uh, but to make a nether thing, basically you just take the coordinates you want in the overworld and divide them by eight, and then go in the nether and go there, so... I'm going to go ahead and go back to spawn. I'm going to set up everything, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, so I just arrived at spawn. didn't take me too, too long. It took me about, like, 10 minutes, but that's the reason I'm kind of making this. So it would cut it down to, like, I think uh, 30 seconds. I am, think I'm correct. But as you can see, spawn hasn't changed much. Uh, there is somebody's house. That's Riley's, I believe, and over there is Sammy's, and I don't know any of the others. Oh, the, okay. I was, like, wondering what that burning noise was. But anyway, we are going to start making uh, the nether thing. Or, what do you call it? Uh, I'm just having a complete mind blank right now. How, uh, I don't even know what you call it. I can't remember. Uh, nether portal. <laughs> I can't believe I... I am the best Minecraft commentator ever, I know. Uh, so, let's just slide this up. First time in the nether, so we'll check it out for the others. This will be a, uh, a community nether portal, so anybody on the server that's watching this, uh, then this is for everybody, not just for me. But, of course, we spawned in a cave. Uh, it's kind of neater. We just check out some of the area looks like this goes nowhere well that's good and bad uh, it means that we have less chance of dying by lava I just want to see uh, let's grab some glowstone real quick before somebody takes this but let's go ahead and go to negative nine so it needs to go this way so, negative nine. Ooh, gotta be careful. Look at that. Negative nine. And then negative, or no, positive one fifty five, I think. Okay, I'm gonna mine to that and I'll see you guys then. Okay, so I just arrived at the coordinates. I have uh, not put in the obsidian yet. That's what I'm about to do. And crap, I accidentally did something. But we are going to light this. It should uh, teleport me to the place that I picked. If not, then I did something wrong, but I doubt it since uh, I'm just the best at everything I do. So let's go ahead and light this thing. We should spawn right in front of uh, where we're going to have the door, if I'm correct see yep perfect 
right here is going to be the door and uh, down to this. Of course, this isn't going to be the final one. Uh, as you saw in the last episode, we had it in the, uh, the basement area. So now what I got to do is, of course, all my stuff is over there. So it's going to be a hassle going up and down this mountain. So what I'm going to do is move all this stuff over to where this is. And I might just do that in a first person time lapse. did a time lapse but i'm actually thinking about doing another time lapse but this time it's gonna be in third person we're gonna be over there doing the uh starting the base for the uh iron golem farm so that should be pretty cool this is my first ever time doing third person time lapse uh riley has agreed to let me uh use a second account he's on right now so th special thanks to him for letting me do this and hopefully you guys enjoy <laughs> up today's episode as you just saw we had the uh, time lapse where I built this this is just the base this isn't the finished product if you don't know what we're building it's basically like an iron farm it's basically like a mock vid village so iron golems will fall and die down below but this is uh, just the start of it maybe in next episode I will uh, finish it I don't know uh, how long it'll take we'll definitely next episode we'll definitely uh, do get villagers because we do need that to make this work so hopefully you guys like this video. I did a little extra today uh, with the third person time lapse. Special thanks to Riley for letting me uh, letting me have another account on. Uh, my guy was sitting up there. So special thanks to him. Uh, and I guess that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later.